Hello YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines from The Moving Icon, and have you been having rolling shutter problems with your drone? Well, I have a solution that has been hidden for a long time, and I've found it, so stay tuned and watch. Uh, hello YouTubers, I want to talk about the rolling shutter problems you might have with some of your drones and what I discovered after a whole series of events to reach to the point where I came to the conclusion that here is my problem. It was unfortunate in some ways, but at the same time, because I went through all my diagnostics, it was a cool thing. But before I start, I must talk to you about the Stay Tunes. If you guys can, check it out. My 17 tips on being a better photographer in 2017. I will leave a link below in the description. Check it out. I've got a lot of great feedback from that video. Also, photo shoots with Claudian and Cynthia are already done. You can check them out on my station and I will also leave links for those videos as well. Also, my drone crash stories. I have four stupid drone crash stories that uh, came out and people are liking it. They're laughing at me, really. That's what they're doing. And it's pretty funny. So also, to come are cinemagraphs with Cynthia because I don't know this year I've decided to get into cinemagraphs. You can find out what they are on that video and find out what's coming next. That has not been done yet, but I'm working on it now. More photo shoots, photo <laughs> more photo shoots with Annabelle, Megan Owen, and with Claudia. So check those out and uh, go see them. It will be really worth it. Okay guys, I wanna to talk to you quickly about what happened and what I discovered about rolling shutter. Now, here's the small anecdote. I hope it's small. I hope to make this video really short, but I crashed my drone a while back and I broke the two front arms and I broke the props in the, in the process of crashing my drone. Now, because I broke my company cr props, I had to take them off and change them. Uh, now, I changed my company props on my drone, put the new props on, and all, I flew my drone and kept on filming. I had two broken arms, but it seemed to be not bad. I taped the arms and put a little splint on, and I went up and flew the drone again. But when I looked at my footage afterward is that I was getting this rolling shutter effect, and all you videographers know what rolling shutter is. Everyone gets it, but if you're doing a stable shot and you're getting a jello effect, something is weird because normally when you film and you move your camera and pan it quick, you get rolling shutter. All videographers learn to expect that, but not when you're shooting a stable shot. If you're shooting a stable shot and you start seeing like jello effects and the whole image starts looking jiggly, it's not a cool thing at all. First thing I did, I took the gimbal, stay with, and I'll show you that. Now, the Q500 has the super advantage of giving you a handheld stabilizer. And let me tell you something, this thing helped in my old diagnostics because what I did was I took the gimbal off the drone and I put it on this gimbal right here, uh, this handheld stabilizer. I started filming footage with it. It was absolutely rock stable. Why do I mention this? Well, I mention this because if it's rock stable on the gimbal, on the uh, handheld stabilizer, and when I put it on the drone, it's wiggly and jiggly. Well, most likely something about the drone is screwing up. And so I concentrated all my efforts on the drone. So next step, what did I do next? Well, I said, well, my arms are busted. I fixed the arms of the drone because I think these things right here were causing a bit of destabilization, causing the drone to shake and causing that little jello effect. Well, guess what? I took this thing back out and sure enough, I got stabilized arms and I'm flying it and it's still jiggling. I'm still getting rolling shutter on a stable shot. So I'm looking at this, so what do I do? I do like everyone does. I go on YouTube, uh, rolling shutter, jello effect uh, uh, on video and I see all these, I see a lot of videos on this but nothing saying what can be done. Some people said I had to take my uh, my drone and actually orient it and reset it and calibrate it. I did all of that, still rolling shutter. So I find a video on balancing props and 
drone stability and I'll try to give a link below on it. And basically what they do is they take a prop and they, they put it on this like uh, device to balance out the prop. Uh, and I'm looking at that, I'm going, that's kind of weird, balancing props, why would you do that? And they're filing away and they're talking about drone stability. Well, I'm telling you right now, this is my last hope. This is my last ditch attempt. I'm saying, well, what the is going on? I mean, I'm doing everything right and it's still giving me jello effect. Well, here's the conclusion, everybody. I went out and bought a brand new set of Typhoon, Typhoon 4K brand, brand name props. Now they cost a pretty penny. They're not cheap. They're like 43 bucks for four props, which is between you and I, it's ridiculous. That's Canadian, of course, remember. I put the new props on, fly it. Sure enough, I look at my video, it is stable as a rock. The stability of your footage is very dependent on what type of prop you have on and if it is balanced. Now, I had went out and bought these suckers right here. These are Chinese generic brands. And these things right here, I can tell you with all sincerity, and I will also leave a link below, don't buy them. Because you will have to take those props and either learn how to balance or throw them away. If you're a filmmaker, if you are just a guy, a hobbyist, you're fine. Your drone will fly, it'll be stable, you can maneuver, you can do what you want. These props are just a, a great inexpensive way. I think I got eight props for 12 bucks. Honestly, 12 bucks for these things. So it'll do the job, but if ever you decide to do filming, you have to do one of two things. You have to either buy new props from Unique that are already balanced or learn how to balance props. Okay, so now I'm sending this out to you guys. I want you to write down in the comments below, have you ever had this type of problem, rolling shutter on any other type of drone, be it DJI Phantom or whatever. Tell me what, what has happened with you, if you've ever got that rolling shutter and did this solve your problem. And if you had the problem, how would you fix it? Because I know there's a lot of DIY guys out there that are ready to balance props and learn how to do it. Well, being a filmmaker myself, my priority is to get good footage and not to learn how to fly a drone. I do my best I can, but I can tell you now, I'm ready to pay that amount. Uh, another question I want to ask to anyone who has done this, is it tough to balance props? How do you go about doing it? Is there any sort of mechanism that's sold out there that's nice and cheap so that we can go out and buy the Chinese ones, put this thing on, file and balance our props really quick? It would be a cool thing. So there it is guys, balance props might be just the solution for your rolling shutter. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram for my high quality stuff. Check out Behance. If you like this video, click the thumbs up at the bottom. If you want to keep in cahoots with what I do, subscribe. And don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing. Hello YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines from The Moving Icon and I am here to talk about... What am I here to talk about? Let's start that over.